Hi again, folks. Uh, back to the laboratory here. I've changed the view of our science here, and I'm going to take you to why it's so important to get that sweet spot up in line with the sweet spot of the golf ball for that centric collision that we just explained. And uh, here I've driven just and drawn, excuse me, and excuse my um, my artistic skills here, but just a little bit of a, a diagram on how the golf ball and the club would line up face on. And again, you'd have to bring the golf ball over here, but we'll show you from this side angle. And again, this is a conventional putter design. Uh, it's got a top height or a total height in the hitting area of less than an inch, uh, and it gives you a sweet spot or a bullseye somewhere down here at a half inch or a lot of times less. Uh, here again, the golf ball rests beside it. It's 0.84 here um, for the contact point. So you've got a, quite a bit of a, a range of difference there. So what's going to happen is this. Um, you're going to intuitively raise the, uh, the club as you strike through, but more importantly, uh, you're probably not even with that raising because the lofts on the putter and the way the putters are uh, tend to hit the golf ball, you're going to tend to make contact with the ball much higher on the face than you think anyway, especially if you've got a conventional loft design because you'll lean it forward and that will introduce the, the higher part of the golf club or the top edge of the golf club closer to the contact than uh, the sweet spot of the lower edge. So here's in the problem of having uh, a too low of a profile design or too low of a sweet spot in combination with a low profile design. If you make contact consistently above the, the sweet spot of the, of the ball, you're already off center, even if you hit it in the middle. So um, that adds to your misses. Because what's happening is, and I'll show you how that's different with ours, if you're constantly intuitively making contact up here, and if you hit dead center, you've already missed. So already you're getting a, a non-centric collision or you're getting a non-sweet spot hit, which is gonna have bad sound, it's gonna have sometimes bad roll results, so you're going to get bad data on the Quintex. But here's my problem. We're not all perfect, so if you could hit the center of the putter, um, you'd still be off center to a certain degree. And then now there's a problem if you start to miss heel or toe because now you start to push that point even further away from the balance or the stable point of the putter. So that's where we've got a huge competitor, competitive advantage, and I'll show you how because, again, with our deeper profile, with our higher, a much higher stable point or sweet spot up in here, much closer to the sweet spot of the golf ball. What happens is that tendency, especially with our natural loft being a little bit less than most putters and our energy being high, you're going to naturally make contact again on the high part of the putter, but in doing so, you're going to get that centric collision opportunity. So you're going to get a chance to hit it on the sweet spot, but even better than that, if you're like me and the rest of us at home and even the guys on tour, you're not always dead on center, you're going to be a little bit left or right of center, but that is going to be a much tighter range um, than if you already are off center with the sweet spot too low. So, so not only are we better when you actually make a perfect stroke and make perfect contact, but our data proves and our visual results prove through our hundreds of, uh, of um, regular golfers, some pros, some not, some uh, low handicaps, all have tested our products through all three generations of prototypes, and this has been a consistent aspect of our design, and what they find out is they're more consistent, the sweet spot's bigger because it's closer to the contact, and we've got a huge advantage. So this is the thing that really from a face on, you don't see it in uh, the design, but you see it in the results. And again, um, again, centric collision, getting the sweet spot up at the contact point, we've got a bigger sweet spot than anybody in golf, and I'm pretty excited to get you to play with it.